Hi everyone, here is uh, Marcin and today I want to talk about the retouching I did for my recent course uh, which is right now on uh, Udemy, you can find the link in the description. So this course is pretty much about retouching essentials. So everything that you need to turn your images from good ones to awesome ones, simply speaking. Um, I'm showing you how to do raw conversion in two softwares, uh, Camera Raw, and for some of you, if you use Capture One just as I do, there's also a lesson on Capture One. And then uh, since then we're starting to do cleaning up, how to do cleanup, uh, basic way, of course, without any crazy methods, just the best way to do cleanup. Of course, dodging and burning, contrast, color corrections up to final touches. So let me go uh, down to how the image look as a raw. This is the raw image, that's how it looked in the camera raw. So you have to say the difference is quite big. I had to make the colors more vital and of course uh, improve the contrasts and the uh, lights, shadows, things like that. So this was the raw image and after raw conversion, I got to this point. So. Uh, first of all, the color look a little bit different because of the uh, capture one, but also I wanted to bring up more of the details from the highlights, which can be seen. It was a little uh, too bright for me, so I just wanted to make it a little darker. There's more uh, details and I believe it really suits to this uh, outdoor image. So. Going to the edit, let's go down to the first steps, which I believe you can see. Of course, as a first, there was a cleanup, uh, which is every probably everyone first step after you do raw conversion. And that's how it, it, it looks, actually. The cleanup was on the face and not that much. The solid uh, lines and dots was a healing brush tool. And the soft ones is, of course, uh, clone stamp. So when we zoom this in, as you can see, it's before and after. So just the pimples, I'm not removing freckles, it would be a crime, some of the hair around, just to make it look a little bit better. And of course, after cleanup, uh, most important steps for skin retouching is Dutch and burn. So let me put this to one group to show you. That was before Dutch and Burn, and this is after. The The change is quite big. Sorry for the noise uh, that you're hearing right now. Uh, quite common thing in Hong Kong, small flat, and if anyone doing something outside, it can be heard. So uh, how the dodge and burn, of course, I'm in the course, I'm explaining you in the details how to do dodge and burn. Um, I'm using curves for it, how to also correct some colors if uh, some discoloration will appear. And that's how the dodge and burn process looks like. It wasn't much because it's outdoor image. It's not studio image. So it's just outdoor portrait. So you can see that there was not that much Dutch and burn. And what's most important, you want the image to keep natural. So uh, you don't want to overdo this, uh, not only with cleaning up, but also with Dutch and burn. Then of course, contrasts. And this is probably the bigger change you will see in terms of the lines on this image. Um, highlights strongly improved, huge different on the highlight after improving contrast and darker shadows. So how I'm doing this, I'm, uh, I'm using curves as well, and I'm just creating the masks. And this is probably the most important part of um, the work with contrast. So I'm telling you how I create the masks to do this very selective contrast, how to work with highlights and shadows uh, very selectively. And of course, after that also, another step where I work with masks is tones. And here's a little bit more masks that I created. Uh, this was for shadows, this one for highlights. And here's the mask for mid-tones, a little blurred. Uh, and here some color corrections as well. So this is also in details explained in the course. And this image is part of the bonus lessons. 
which I think this image was actually more interesting than the one that is in the main lessons. So this is the basic process, how I go. And at the end, uh, final steps. Uh, so it's stamps working uh, with camera raw a little bit. So you can see the color is a little bit different. A little, I, I get back to more natural color because this image was too blue. So I went into natural cyan uh, colors, even if it's less contrasting mod suit. And at the end, the noise. Uh, why I create the noise? Uh, many people asking such questions. It's very soft noise. I'm not sure if you can actually see the difference. Like looking slowly, this changes. You can you can probably see this if I zoom that this out even more. Sorry for that. So without noise and after noise. So why I'm doing this? Because noise really nicely uh, break the tones. It's it's much. The image looks much better when printed later and the transitions between the colors look uh, much nicer. So of course it depends on the image, uh, if it's studio image, fashion, outdoor, the amount of noise I'm adding is different uh, just to make it suitable for the certain type of image. So then after that we get in quite much and there's big difference with the image. Uh, compared to what was before and what was after. Once again, if you want to know a full course, just check the link in the description and I hope I will be coming more often with videos here on YouTube as I'm planning uh, to show some travel edits, some uh, travel images edits, not only about retouching, but retouching stuff mostly in my courses. Also, I have a loot 3D uh, creator, so there will be few videos about lot 3D in the uh, coming days. So if you want the course, if you want to learn retouching, just uh, check the link in the description. Subscribe if you want to see future updates on this channel and see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.